Hey everybody, it's Bill Slocum, and in this video, I'm going to talk about creating a GIS feature service by sharing an ArcGIS MXD file. And you may have seen one of my other tutorials about uploading a shape file. Well, if you remember, that had a few caveats where you could only have 1,000 features at a time. But in this video, I'm going to talk about sharing an um, ArcGIS MXD file that can contain one or more uh, data layers. So a little housekeeping, neither the National Park Service nor NC State University endorses or recommends any commercial products, processes, or services. This material may not be used for advertising or product endorsement purposes. The material is intended for educational purposes only. Neither the U.S. government nor NC State University warrants or assumes any legal liability or responsibility for the accuracy, completeness, or usefulness of any information, apparatus, product, or processes disclosed. So, Sharing an ArcGIS MXD file, also known as a map document. Well, you can have multiple layers in your map document, if that's what you prefer, or you may have one. My little demonstration, I'm just going to use one. And then I'll use that to create a feature layer. I'll organize that in my content and finally display it in my web map. So, just to get started, you can see here that I have created an ARC map map document. And it is of the Colonial National Historical Park, Colonial Parkway kilometer markers. And you can see here that I have set some custom symbology. And that's because I want to maintain the way that my data is displayed for people that may eventually use these maps. So I've gone through the process of creating my map document. And you can see there's only a handful, maybe about oh, 20 or 30 so records. Uh, it's got 37. I've got 37 markers. And that's the number you might want to hang on to for a moment. Now, simple and easy way to do this is make your map document look the way you want. And ArcGIS is doing a good job, uh, or Esri is doing a, a fairly good job, of maintaining your display from your map document into their online platform. Now, there could be some problems. You can't use complex symbols. You kind of need to use simpler symbols. And there is a lot of trial and error involved in this. So please take your time to get something nice and, and test it out. So I've got my map document here. And you may have noticed under File, Sign In, and this ArcGIS Online, I'm going to sign in to my ArcGIS online account. And my username is the username that was assigned to you for ArcGIS.com. You've already gotten that and logged in. And I'm just going to log in here. Say sign in. Now, this automatically signs me into ArcGIS.com in my National Park Service account. Now I'm simply going to go to File, and you can see that I'm signed in here, Share as a Service. And I am going to publish a service. And I am going to use the My Hosted Services through the National Park Service. And I have a service name here. I'm going to just add this for a little bit of clarity and say MXD. I'm just going to say Continue. Well, you know what? Let's just try something to see what happens. Let's try some spaces. Say Continue. Well, you can't do that. So, when you share a service, you actually have, you cannot have any spaces or special characters. So, I'm just going to go and use underscores. You can use underscores uh, if you would like. Uh, I recommend that, or some people like to use camel case. But I'll just use some underscores and say continue. Now, If you've got 
uh, your dialogue here, your service editor dialogue here, you see that there's some capabilities. Well, National Park Service does not allow for tiled mapping. And I'm not going to really get into uh, the reasoning or what all that means. So what you need to do here is click Feature Access and deselect Tiled Mapping. Also under Parameters, you see the maximum number of records returned by the user. It's set to 1,000. I can actually change that here if I want to. When you upload a shapefile, you're only allowed to have 1,000. So here's a way to get around that and you have some item descriptions. Look, here is the use and constraints access. Well, that actually happens to live online and you can get access to that if you go to google.com and type in NPS GIS liability statement. It's probably going to be the first one you get to. And I'm just going to copy this and paste it into my access and use constraints. Now I've got some properties set up in my map document such as a description and tags and a summary. And I'm going to leave all of this. You can type in some credits if that's what you would prefer in another description. And also, you know, make sure you, you, you put in your tags. It's very important to put in those metadata tags. And my summary. And I'm going to click publish. And while that's going through, I'm going to just pause the video for a minute. Okay, you can see that the service has been published uh, successfully, and I'm going to click OK. And just for kicks, I'm going to save my map document. Now I no longer need this, so I'm just going to minimize it. Okay, let's go back to ArcGIS online. And here I'm already logged in. Uh, this is separate from logging in through the ArcMap interface. You may have to do it twice. And let's go to my content. Okay. You'll see here that I have my feature layer and my service definition. That's a little bit different than the way you uploaded it last time. Okay, the service definition just is uh, some computer language speak of how this map, this this feature layer was made. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move these into my tutorials video folder so that I can keep everything together. And once again, you'll see when I upload it as a shape file, here the shape file is here. But now when I've uploaded through the map document, you can see that there's a service definition file. You're probably not going to do a whole lot with this, so don't worry about it. And if I want to see this in a map, oops, let's try that again. It's a little temperamental. And sure, I don't care about what's happening. Now you can see that my data is displayed on my map. I have a legend here that has my marker associated with it. If I click on an actual feature, you can see that I get a pop-up with the attributes associated with those features. So, once again, this is simply just how to share a map document that contains one or more layers. Also notice over here in the legend that you've got the name of the map document and then you've got the name of the layer file. And there are ways to change that and we'll go over that at another time frame. But if you want to experiment, there's a little drop down here, just a little hint that you can do a lot of stuff with. Okay, if you do not have the ability to publish or share your map document, then you need to be given that access and again, you need to contact your regional ArcGIS administrator. And in the Northeast region, you can contact Nigel Shaw, Roland Duhame, or you can contact me. And that's it. So you make a map document. You sign into ArcGIS Online through the map document uh, ArcGIS for Desktop Interface by signing in. 
and then you can conveniently just share your map document as a service. All right, that's it. Thanks a lot, and I hope you all have a good day.